everyone, welcome to Destination Greece. Our next stop is Lutray. Lutraki has been a tourist attraction for many decades. Foreigners and Greeks alike flock to Lutraki because of its crystal clear sea, taverns, cafes, summer outdoor cinema, the casino, and wonderful new resorts. This seaside resort on the Gulf of Corinth in Greece is named after the natural thermal springs with the suffix Lutra. Hey you guys, I'm in search of healing centers and I've come to the heart and where a lot of healing centers began, right here in Greece. And we've come one hour outside of Athens to Lutraki, famous from antiquity, written by the historian Xenophon, referenced that the Spartans used to come to this natural thermal water healing center after long battles in order to rejuvenate and heal their injuries. This has been a famous uh, place throughout time. It's surrounded by these beautiful red rock mountains and the sea is just amazing and breathtaking. We are with the mayor of Lutraki and we're very happy because he's brought us to a very special place. And the mayor is going to suggest, once they land in Athens, to come to Lutraki first. Why, mayor? First to Lutraki, to enjoy Lutraki Thermal Spa, this special water where you can relax very easy and you can drink it and also you can swim in that. That is the best for the health. So the people can come here for five, six days to stay, to make the bath in Lutraki Thermal Spa and then the to beaches. start the beaches and then to start eat. To, to eat, of course. <laughs> De decompress and then to go for vacation around Lutraki. Natural rich mineral water has been revered since antiquity for its long list of health benefits. The ancient Greeks knew this all too well and made it part of their health regimen. I'm with my good friend Vanna, who is going to tell us everything about these magical healing waters here in Lutraki. Vanna, thank you for inviting us and showing us this beautiful spa that you guys have developed and with the European Union. Tell me a little bit about it. Thank you very much, uh, really. We thank you very much for your coming here. We really feel very, very honored to all the team here. Uh, and you personally, you are a very sweet person and we thank you very much for that. You inspire us. Uh, I'm humbled, I'm humbled. <laughs> thank you. Regarding the Lutraki Thermal Spa, I would like to inform uh, that uh, you are in the most uh, ultra-modern spa all over Greece because it's the newest one and one of the most modern. Uh, actually, in this uh, spa, and when we say spa, we mean Sanitas per aqua. This is the initial letter, Sanitas per aqua. Sanitas per aqua, that which means translates health, into health, health with water. Health with water. We are at Lutraki Thermal Spa exactly. for Thermos health Spas. with water. Uh, what, what makes the water so special? Uh, actually, uh, oh, uh, the, indi the indication of thermal water, because this is not a normal water, but a really thermal water, but it comes from Earth since 3,000 years. We know uh, that water, uh, because the history is written uh, by Xenophon, the historian Xenophon. Xenophon was a great ancient Greek historian. Yes. And the waters were mentioned and referenced in his work since antiquity, 3,000 yes. years before yes, Christ. Yes, yes. Uh, in his work, Hellenica, he writes that uh, the Greek soldiers from Sparta, they came to Lutraki healing waters to heal by the woods of the world, the Peloponnesian world. We are st sitting in an Historical. area, in a historical site where the exactly. ancient Greek warriors, the Spartans, the 300, they would come here to heal after hard battles. That is amazing. So they knew about the healing properties since antiquity. Exactly. This is passed on until today. Here we are, 2021. And what can someone um, come here for? Tell us some of the therapeutic properties in the water and what they are used for. Yes, uh, actually this uh, thermal water, uh, we use it uh, for two reasons. One reason is the drinking therapy. When we drink this water, 
Uh, actually, after the, adv the doctor's advice, because in the spa center, Lutraki Thermal Spa, always uh, there is a doctor, uh, and uh, every bather has to take the, uh, the stamp of the doctor to oh, use, you know. That's water. important. So I've really never seen that. I've been to many spas around the world. This spa has a doctor. It's an in-house doctor, of which you'll visit. He does visit some sort free of, of charge. Free of charge. He does a checkup on you, exactly. and he has to give you the stamp of approval to and what type of therapy you need to do depending exactly. on your ailments or no ailments, just for exactly. e Fzine, exactly. just for longevity of life. Exactly, and how you can use the water. Uh, when we drink uh, the water, uh, it's very helpful for because you get you can get rid of gallstone. Uh, it's a natural way to get rid of gallstone. So what, do you, what is in, the, these waters have been studied, what's in the waters that's helping people who have gallstones or kidney stones, yes. what's in the water to help break those up? The ingredients of the water, is, this is uh, the most important, and actually it contains magnesium, calcium, natrium, sodium. Uh, the, the waters are slightly alkaline, and uh, they also consist, uh, they have also radium, but in a very, very Small low dose. Like the doctor will advise each one of you, depending on your ailment, how much water you need to drink uh, in order to get the best of the therapy. Um, Vanna, let's move on to the body treatments. Tell us about the wonderful bath water. Yes, here actually the, spa, the Lutraki Spa uh, Center is just for bathing. Uh, when we make bath, first of all, uh, you get, you, you can feel very refreshed. Uh, refreshed wellness. and rejuvenated, especially rejuvenated. in the 104 Just a revive. Revive. That goes on. <laughs> I'm kidding. Revived. Revived. You know, it feels like Arizona. Right. Greece is very hot, but You're dry, again, and you, you feel know. really good. So when you take the, ba the bath, you feel refreshed, rejuvenated, and as you just relax, said, born you know, again. And you relax the body and the mind. Also, this is the most important. When you come here and use the waters, you will feel absolutely relaxed. You don't care for anything what's going on outside from here, you know. Uh, also, this is uh, one way to get, you know, the wellness. But the, the, water, the Lutraki waters are healing waters. Uh, and they help, the water help very much a uh, musculoskeletic problems, sciatica, lumbago problem with the neck, you know, um, osteoporosis. Uh, they have very good effects in human health regarding musculoskeletic problems. So they have a great effect on musculoskeletal Absolutely. problems. Absolutely. And that is due to the abundance of minerals. Tell us a little bit about which yes. minerals are uh, more Because of the magnesium, of calcium, uh, and radium, it helps very much. Of course, one bath is not enough, you know, to get, you know, the therapy. What is the minimum amount of, ba uh, of baths we need to do yeah. daily and for how long do yes, we stay? it's about 15. But even if you can take 10 baths, you will feel very good in your body. And uh, 10 baths, minimum. So you, got, you have to come to Lutraki for a minimum of two weeks, guys. 15 it's days are very good. So worth it. I mean, and so the, much to And do. the best number is 21. But uh, 20. we know that 21 is a very long time, you know, for some people to come and stay here. But I don't know. I think it's a good number. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to come here for uh, one month, even 30 days. Absolutely. People come here from all around the world, not only from Greece, but we have repeaters from Russia, Germany, England, France, who they come just for their health. That's wonderful. And they and feel they have very, they pass very good and like uh, easy winter, you know. Let me ask you, I mean, you're from here, you know many people from here. Uh, what is the, uh, we hear that there's a longevity of life in Konica. People are living, you know, longer. Uh, do you believe it has to do with the water, the healing water? Tell us your opinion about why the people who live in this area are living longer. Uh, I think because, uh, of course, uh, the water, it, uh, it has a very big meaning in that. Because Lutraki is famous not only for bathing water, but for uh, the drinking water there is in the city. Uh, we use in our homes, in the hotels, all around, rich in magnesium. And this helps very much the organism uh, to build a strong body, you know, the muscles. Uh, and magnesium, magnesium is very important. It helps with stress. It also helps with constipation. Yes. And uh, it, it helps with an, an enormous amount of ailments. So that's we're very wonderful. Lucky. We're very lucky people to live here. And you to are have very lucky. <laughs> I think yes. I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should all experience Lutraki. It has longevity of life. 
healing waters, beachside town, wonderful, happy, beautiful people. And also we, we, we are, you know, really blessed because we have the mountain behind yes. us. And Hippocrates and, said, absolutely. the mountain behind you, exactly. see, the sea, just in, the in front. our front of yes. us, you know. And we have, we have many open areas, we can walk around to enjoy the nature. The Blue Lake is very, very close. The, blue, the, the blue Lagoon of Bulyagmeni Lake, it's another place, place we're going to be visiting. We're so excited to be here. Vanna, I can't wait to jump in the water and do some therapy. And I of think course, of we'll, course. We have to stay 21 and days for all the producers. We and have we to stay 21 days. <laughs> <laughs> and we forgot to say that uh, the most important for this water is that this is anti-aging. Anti-aging. For, for, for skin. Oh, yeah. wait a second. That's a big topic now. Wait, and hold on, hold on. musculoskeletal problems, it helps to uh, skin diseases. Okay, very, very important. Pay attention here, viewers. The water is not only good for Musculoskeletal. Musculoskeletal issues, it's also great for skin, skin diseases. diseases. Uh, and it's good for anti-aging. So absolutely. let's talk about some of the benefits of this water on the skin. On the skin. Uh, actually, first of all, this is anti-aging. The, the skin after the bath with this water, it gets like a velvet. Uh, I use Hydration, it I velvet. Every morning, I don't have much time. Forget you know, about your use creams, but water I, all day I long. put in my face. I'm taking it home in a bottle, okay? <laughs> yes, and, uh, and, and it helps very much in diseases, skin diseases, like dermatitis, psoriasis. This is not a contagious disease, but it's very serious for somebody. Who it's autoimmune. It. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. It helps very much, like mud therapy, the combination of mud therapy and this water, it helps very much in acne. A lot of people come here, and I, I saw by my own, own eyes people with acne, you know, here. After two, three therapies, to, to you know, to, to be much better. It a magic, a magical me. place, Lutraki Thermal Spa. Get over here, enjoy, decompress, get rid of some ailments, spend some time in the sun, have some Greek food, enjoy the lifestyle. In 1847, an announcement in Italy asserting the therapeutic benefits of bathing in the natural thermal spas found in Lutraki caused an influx of settlers and tourists in the surrounding areas, thereby creating modern Lutraki. Lutraki has so many amazing beaches to choose from, but my all-time favorite is Bulyagmeni Lake. Bulyagmeni Lake actually has salt water, and it has amazing beaches surrounding it. So you can take advantage of this beautiful uh, natural environment and the beautiful waters underneath the nature, beautiful trees, there's cafes, there's beach bars, and there's the Lake Water Sports Club, which is my favorite because I love to water ski. So we're with George Gagnatos, he's a trainer uh, of water sports and he has been living in Lutraki for over nine years. He found this safe haven and he's staying here. He is a, uh, a philosopher uh, and, and, a, and, and, a, and, a, and a nature lover. That is closer. All right. Yeah. George, thank you for hosting us in your beautiful place here. You're welcome, guys. It's right by the beach. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's right by nature. Mm -hmm. You think we need to get back to nature, George? Oh, we certainly do. For sure. Is this what brought you to Lake Mulekmeni? Definitely, yeah. I mean, you studied, you know, you're from Athens, you were in a hustling, bustling city, you studied abroad, and then you gave it all up, and you're like, you're like that's it, I'm going to live the sea life. It's not exactly like that. I was always like a nomad. Like from my young years when I was uh, skiing as a professional athlete. So we would used to ski at Yanana. So I'm really used to moving around, not staying in Athens too much. So it's like natural to me. What do you think people need more of today? What they need more of, huh? Understanding, I think. And uh, they need nature, they need to um, understand one each other. I think basically that's it, understanding. Love and, and understanding. Yeah. You study philosophy and um, you are uh, living really the life that many people want to live. 
uh, which is in nature and more calm and less stress. Now I believe that in a way that we start realizing that we really need to live in the now. Live in the now. I think so. Yeah. Live in the now, and we're love each other. There, you know? We're getting there. We yeah. gotta work on ourselves first before we work on each other, right? For sure. It's just gonna take about a thousand more years, I think, <laughs> for everybody. That's okay, we'll Maybe evolve. Two. At some point we'll evolve. Yeah, we will. Um, tell me about Lake Vuliagmeni. What do you guys do here? Tell me about some of the stuff that you enjoy and what you love most about this area. Well, what I love most about this area is that I found my peace again. I live here. Basically, I live on the lake for the past two years and around for the past seven. Um, I live my winters in peace and I do outdoor activities. We travel with a little van. And in the summer, I do what I love. This is what I did since I was a kid. And the part of it which I think I love the most was coaching. And this is what I get to do. I love that. You have the life. I guess so. You have the life I think we all want to just end up on a beach eating some great healthy food with no stress and being kind to each other. Yeah, it's a work in progress. A work in progress. Let's check out <laughs> some water sports. I am very excited because we are approaching a very old archaeological site built in the 8th century BC, the Temple of Ira. There it is, an ancient town and the ancient temple. And I think this used to be a port. Here we are at the Temple of Ida, wife of Zeus and the goddess of marriage, fertility, and the home. Now, this was a very special place. It was built in 8th century BC. And story has it that Medea came here, the wife of Jason, and killed her two children and buried them in this area to avenge her husband's infidelity to the marriage of the Corinthian princess. When traveling in Greece, you'll find a lot of churches next to archaeological sites. This is because in antiquity, when paganism became Christianity, the emperors wanted to make it easy for the population. And so they wanted to build the churches around all the saints and Christ, of course. So it would be an easy transition from paganism and the ancient Greek gods to Christ, Christianity. What I truly love about Greece is the quality of life. I mean, even though we're not on an island and we're in, or in a nice small little village, traditional village, Lutragi is a little hustling and bustling town, uh, but it still has that quality of life here in Greece and in the north of the Mediterranean. Um, you'll, you, get a, you just get a chance to you know, go from the sea to a tavern with fresh food fish, amazing local dishes, and then just stroll through the streets and enjoy the, you know, the shopping and have an ice cream. And at night, you can just go to a bar or if you uh, like the game of chance, then there is also a casino here in Lutraki. But what I really enjoy after a great meal and with uh, friends is to come to the outdoor cinema and watch classic films underneath the stars. My good friend Chrisula brought me an amazing local superfood recipe and dish. She knows I love all the superfoods. She wants people to be healthy and have healthy sweets. Chrisula, thank you. You're welcome. Chrisula, well, this looks amazing and it smells delicious. Tell me a little bit about what is in this superfood. Yes, it is really superfood. It is an Asian local food. So, Perakora has an ancient Greek dish. Uh, this is, they used to call it uh, in ancient Greek? Strifto. Strifto. It's called strifto, which means 
to turn the phyllo dough. So they, what they do is they spread phyllo dough. It's handmade. Yes, of course. Hiropito, as we call it. And it's organic, natural wheat from Greece. And then they put all over it wonderful walnuts. Meli, caritia. All natural fetus. honey, walnuts, and raisins. And then they just turn it. They make it into a round, beautiful little train, into like a snake-like. They put it into the oven and they bake it for? About uh, one hour. So it, it bakes for about one hour and then they put honey again on top of it. Yes, yes, yes. And then you cut it in small pieces and enjoy a healthy, natural, superfood dessert that you can have after a meal or you can have it with coffee or breakfast and then you have all this energy to just go out and start touring Lutraki. <laughs> Isula, thank you for sharing this great dish with us. Natural, healthy, Mediterranean cuisine. Philoxenia is a word that exists only in Greece. The Greeks are world renowned for their hospitality. You will always feel at home in Greece. Hello, oh, hello, hi, Kalispera. Hi, Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. So good. To, oh, thank you. Look at this beautiful table. This is for you. you. It is a, a, a treat and an honor and to be among such great women of Lutraki with such great history. Costa Dinamo, this is the Greek way of life. We all eat together, um, enjoy. Uh, you know, nature and, and all your beautiful ingredients, all the wonderful um, natural ingredients. Uh, Lutaki is amazing. I can't believe how beautiful it is. And so far from Athens, just an hour. One We're hour here away from an amazing Athens. place. And Cosadina has built gorgeous villas that of course we rented one right next door to hers. And she mm -hmm. said, you guys have to come and have dinner with us because that is the Greek state of mind. It is more relaxing, it's friends, it's exercise, it's a little bit more laid back. Um, philoxenia. philoxenia. Philoxenia is the Greek word. Tell me what philoxenia is. I friends think it's not, strangers. it's not uh, have uh, an English uh, name. It's uh, unique, yes. the Greek philoxenia. Yes. Greek philoxenia means friends of strangers or new friends. And um, the Greek way of life and of course the Mediterranean way of life is you know, you must treat your strangers like your family, and we must break bread and, and show them, I guess, their way, the Greek way of life. So the Greek way of life is very different. She's lived in Germany, right, Kostadina? Yes, uh, I was born in Germany, and about 50 years I lived there, and yes. then I came here, please. Let's tell the audience about your idea of the Greek way of life. Ah. <sighs> It's uh, sure the Mediterranean food uh, to exercise and do things you like and enjoy with friends and the family first. Yes. The family is first of all. Yes. And of course, to not work so hard and to exercise a little bit, right? Right. <laughs> and no stress. And no stress. So. What we're doing is presenting a, 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 another way of life. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's a, a more healthier way of life, a more uh, less stressful life with more nature, friends and family. And this is what the Blue Zone criteria is about. That's why Greece is part of the Blue Zone um, countries. And so we're happy to, to have come and enjoyed it. And we're so excited to continue coming back every year. Let's do a cheers. To Yamas, to Lutraki, to, to great people, to good food and the good life and living well. Besides all the criteria that Greece meets to be part of the Blue Zones, there's a variety of other factors that make Greece very special. And these include her sun, her topography, her nature, the products, the climate, the sea, the people, and the Greek state of mind.
This is my last night in Greece and all I can say is it's been an amazing magical experience. As the sun sets, everything we'll experience is all about living well. See you next time.